Mars is a dynamic planet. HiRISE has witnessed many surface changes over the past 10 years, including hundreds of new craters formed by ongoing impacts. Most of these impacts are likely caused by asteroids that have strayed into collision courses with Mars. This new crater, which formed explosively at the point of impact, has a diameter of roughly 8 meters, but its surrounding blast zone and ejecta extend over a kilometer, about one mile beyond the crater itself. The materials exposed nearest the crater have distinctive yellowish and lighter gray appearances, while more distant ejected materials range from dark brown to bright bluish in an enhanced color view. These varied materials may have originated from different layers penetrated by the impact. This new impact was discovered using the lower resolution context camera. An older context camera image of this region from May 2012 shows a uniformly dust-covered surface, while a newer one from September 2016 reveals the crater's dark blast zone. New craters on Mars are easiest to locate in such dust-coated terrains, where they provide opportunistic road cuts that allow scientists to see beneath the dust blanket and determine the underlying rock compositions and textures. gullies are concentrated at higher latitudes, there are gullies on steep slopes in equatorial regions. An enhanced color close-up shows part of the rim and inner slope of Krupak Crater, located just 7.8 degrees south of the equator. The colors of the gully deposits match the colors of the eroded source materials. Krupak is a relatively young impact crater, but exposes ancient bedrock. Krupak Crater also hosts some of the most impressive recurring slope lineae, or RSL, on equatorial Mars outside of Valles Marineris. Pecky Crater is large, about 84 kilometers across, and located in the southern highlands of Mars, to the north of Halus Planitia. Two smaller craters impacted into the alluvial fan surface in Sahaki, excavating holes that allow us to see what the fans look like beneath the surface. Exposed along the crater's interior walls, we can see that the fan is made up of multiple individual layers, white and purple tones in the enhanced color image, that were deposited on the floor, showing up as green and brown tones. The brown, circular shapes on the fan layers are small impact craters. This is an odd-looking image. It shows gullies during the winter while entirely in the shadow of the crater wall. Illumination comes only from the winter skylight. We acquire such images because gullies on Mars actively form in the winter when there is carbon dioxide frost on the ground, so we image them in the winter, even though not well illuminated, to look for signs of activity. The dark streaks might be signs of current activity removing the frost, but further analysis is needed. This image finally completes a stereo pair with another observation acquired in 2007. It shows a well-preserved landslide scarp and rocky deposit off the edge of a streamlined mesa in Simid Vallis, a giant outflow channel carved by ancient floods. The stereo images can be used to measure the topography, which in turn constrains models for the strength of the mesa's bedrock.